my middle school students, it's Miss Rebecca. And this week, we're learning all about shape. We're gonna be creating an art project that teaches you the difference between dynamic shape and static shape using your own name. You guys ready to start this art project with me? Let's go. Okay, this, this lesson is for my middle school students. We're going to be focusing on shape this week and we're going to be looking at static shape and dynamic shape. Static shapes are shapes that seem like they're resting or stable and dynamic shapes are shapes that are moving or active. So let's get started. You're going to need a pencil and I want you to write your name nice and big right in the middle of your paper. So I'm gonna start, I'm actually gonna do this with a marker. You're gonna use a pencil though, okay? I'm gonna use a marker so you could see. So I'm gonna do a name and I'm gonna make sure I put a finger space in between each letter. So that way, they're not touching and they're spaced out. I picked out this name here, Celine. Now what I want you to do is take your pencil and we're going to make a static shape, which just means that it's going to look like it's not moving, it's going to be static. So you're going to trace around the shape of your name. Okay, just trace around it, kind of goes up and down. Trace around the shape of your name. Okay, now, now we have that shape, that static shape around our name. Now I want you to create different size circles or ovals on top, on top of each letter. And they could be different sizes. You notice that's the smaller one. Notice this is a longer oval. This is a tiny circle. This is a wide circle. And this is sort of a bigger circle I put here. But make sure it's connected. Okay, so now this is still static. Now we're going to add our dynamic shapes. We're gonna change the letters of your name into figures or people moving. And these are representing the heads. So let's start out with the legs. Make the legs in two parts and they should bend in the same direction. So you see that diagonal line? I'm gonna double it up and I'm gonna close it so that that's a shape and I'm gonna make two going the same direction. So look like two legs, two legs. And I'm gonna add two little feet, boop, boop. I'm gonna do the same thing with the E and make sure it's a bent leg. And that makes it look like it's a dynamic shape because it looks like it's moving if it's bent. and add two little feet, boop, boop. Two bent legs, one and two. Boop. A little foot, a little foot. And maybe I make these really, really small because I don't have that much space right there. And I'll make these two a little bit longer. Two little feet, okay. And then I'm just gonna make two arms. One, make sure it's a bent line, dynamic shape. 
Okay. Now it looks like we have this static shape in the middle, and then you added all these dynamic shapes around, so it looks like a little bit of movement. Okay? And now it looks like a big group of people. Now what we can do, if you want to add detail, you can add fingers. It doesn't have to be perfect fingers. Notice mine are not perfect. You can add faces. Eyes, nose, mouth. And you can add hairstyles. If you want to add hairstyles, you can. Ooh, look at that hairstyle. Now, I'm just going to flip to a finished version because you need to erase this in the middle. The name in the middle, erase it. And what it's going to leave you with is something that looks like this. Okay, you have your shape based on your name. You turned it into dynamic figures because you added those dynamic shapes. And the last step is to take your pencil and to shade in all this negative space around your positive shapes. So fill all that in with gray and it's all finished. Post your results. I can't wait to see what your dynamic groups of people look like.